What's going on today guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we are doing some 22 penetration test. So behind me I actually got six gallon jugs of water. We're going to see how many jugs it can go through. And we also have an eighth inch piece of diamond plate steel and a 2x4 um, made of hemlock. So <clears throat> we're going to see what this 22 can do. And before I get started I just want to tell you to hit the subscribe button if you're not already. I appreciate every one of you. So now let's show you the bullet. This is what we're shooting. Just a little 22 long rifle. This is the actually the uh, Remington Thunderbolt. It is a 40 grain uh, round nose lead bullet. Um, it has a muzzle velocity of 1255 feet per second. Uh, we're going to be shooting today from 50 yards. Um, so that should drop it down to about 1091 feet per second. And uh, this little bullet packs a punch of 120 foot-pounds of energy so we're gonna see what this thing can do um, I have my doubts about it going through all six water jugs I think it's gonna probably go through maybe three I'd say at the most um, the diamond plate steel that's eighth inch I I would be shocked if it goes through it guys but we're gonna see sometimes stuff surprises you um, and then I, I got the 2x4 as well, and we're going to see what they can do on there. So for the gun of choice today, I have my Remington 597 Semi-Auto 22. Great little gun, very accurate, uh, it's pretty lightweight, and uh, we're going to see what this can do as well. Okay, so that's enough of me talking. Um, we're going to back up to 50 yards, and the first thing we're going to actually shoot is the water jug. I'm going to tape a slow-mo and add it in. Before I go back to 50 yards, I just wanted to show you there is indeed six full one gallon jugs of water. Um, I accidentally left these for like a year and a half with forgetting about them, so they're probably no longer good to drink, so I'm going to use them for another good purpose. Then we just got the little 2 by 4 there, and then the diamond plate steel. So that's a solid eighth inch thick piece of steel. And then of course we got the magazines and uh, got the GoPro set up. So let's back on up to 50 yards and see what we can do. Okay guys, so to take this shot, I'm actually going to lay down on the bed of my truck. One of the perks of having a flatbed. Just got to get up here now. Okay, throw it in the chamber real quick. Alright guys, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go see what it did. Alright guys, so as you can see we got three leakers right here. Um, that's just kind of what I thought was going to happen actually. You can see we entered in right here. And it looks like it exited right there. So that's one. And there's the... Ooh, the bullet did some really weird curving actually. It actually... Yeah, that's very odd. Okay, so exit it there though, so that's two. And we got the entrance there, exit there, so that's three. And it never touched, it never touched the fourth one, but where is the bullet? That's kind of weird. I'm just kind of, I'm pretty straight on with it, I don't know how. We can't recover the bullet. I was hoping to see that. Interesting. Okay, what we're going to do is actually shoot this again with the three water jugs. Seeing how it only went through three of them. And I'm going to see if I can't put these behind it. So we can actually recover the bullet to see what we did. So remember, I got three full water, untouched full water jugs. Okay, definitely smoked them. 
let's uh let's go see all right guys so this is when that fell on the ground she's leaking pretty good as you can see it is leaking actually right from there it's just going below the label then we got this one double leaker and then we got this one here it's only leaking from one side guys that means the bullet is right in there that's cool that's cool let's empty this guy out and see if we can get the bullet now she's leaking that's pretty cool that's pretty cool all right guys here's the bullet that little 40 grand bullet The back of the bullet actually looks weird. See how that's all like squished and mushroomed? I wonder why that is like that. If any of you guys know, leave a uh, comment down below telling me why. The tip of the bullet is just like I thought it would be. Still nice and round because it is not a hollow point bullet so it's not really designed to mushroom unless it hits something extremely hard. So that's cool. That is cool. Um, so for that test, I guess we would say two and a half. I guess we'd say three because we definitely went through the, the third one on the first test and we went through two um, and the bullet stopped in the third one. Uh, but it did end in the third one. So I'm going to say three water jugs for the 22 with a round point bullet. So right now back up to 50 yards again we're gonna see if the 22 long rifle can penetrate through two inches of solid wood all right guys there's the piece of wood right there this is again 50 yard shot let's see what it can do so right there you can see the entry it's a perfect perfect circle you can actually see where the lead stay in the wood did it exit though? Ooh, it didn't exit, but it did blow out some of the stuff in the back. Oh, it was close, man. It was close. Really close. Wonder if I have anything I can try to dig that bullet out with. See what it looks like. It must have almost came out, man. That was close. Let's go take a uh, look, see if I can get that bullet out. Alright guys, we're going to try to extract this bullet from uh, this block of wood here. i got a pair of snips and the chainsaw file. That's all i got with me. The one day I don't bring my Leatherman. Yeah, that bullet has to be right here though. Where is the bullet? That's pretty weird. Unless it just barely poked, broke through and... I don't know. I can see the hole that made, but where is the bullet? Okay, there's no bullet in here, guys. did indeed pass through must be it's just right huh let's go take a look in those water jugs see if it's in there well guys I don't know where the bullet is it's gone it went through I'm gonna call that a penetration 22 LR went through two inches of hemlock so that's pretty actually that's pretty darn good really if you think about it um, it's pretty hard I mean it's a soft wood yes but pretty hard for it actually to go through that thick of a chunk of wood that's the real deal 2x4 I cut that myself that is solid two inches thick so now guys it is time for the fun thing in my opinion I want to shoot that piece of steel so we're gonna do 50 yards and if it doesn't penetrate we're gonna move closer down to make 25 yards maybe and we're gonna see if the thing can go through. Um, but like I said, that's solid eighth inch diamond plate steel. It's rugged stuff and uh, it's right over there. So I'm gonna get my gun and we're gonna try this. 
Alright guys, so let's let her rip. I'm going to aim closer to the bottom because it is such a tall piece of steel. It will flex if I hit towards the top. So I don't want the metal itself to take any of the impact of the bullet. So here we go. That was a hit. Hit. Oh, done. Another dud? Dang. Hit. And another dud. Guys, now these this isn't Remington's fault for the dud bullets. I bought these bullets like probably eight years ago. And uh, actually it could be actually in fact affecting the test. So if you want to do this test for yourself, um, go ahead and buy some fresh bullets. They're probably going to be a lot better. But clearly I just had three duds in a row. And I bet you if I hit them again, that they'd probably go off. But let's see. Doesn't sound like anything went through. Sounds like a lot of dinging to me. Oh yeah, not even freaking close. Not even close, guys. It did actually divot the metal in three times you can see where I hit one two three and on the actual outside of it you can see the divots right there there and there so where's the bullets though did they just like disintegrate where are they I can't find the bullets guys don't know where they are but uh, we're gonna back up to 25 yards and see if we can get the velocity up enough to uh, penetrate this steel Alright guys, we are now backed up to 25 yards. I don't know if you can actually see me. The shade's really messing with it, but I'm going to throw on some, not safety glasses, but they are uh, my pit vipers. So, they do have a little bit of uh, deflection on them at least. So I'm going to throw those bad boys on, and uh, here we are, 25 yards. Let's see what we can do to the steel. Alright. We might actually even be at 20 yards. It's pretty close. Okay. Point this gun this way. We're going to go check that target. For all you who know and watch my YouTube channel, you'll know that I like Pit Viper sunglasses. And I don't buy like the expensive junk. I like cheap ones. 25 bucks. But uh, if you want me to do a, are these safety glasses actually deflection proof, I'll shoot a pair of these for you guys, if that's something that interests you. So yeah guys, let me know down in the comments, do you want me to do a bulletproof test, or not bulletproof, but deflection test on these sunglasses? I have another pair that I don't wear anymore, which would be perfect for it, so let me know. Okay, let's take a peek at this steel. Again, I don't believe, oh, there's one of the bullets right there. <laughs> I'll show you this in a second. Alright guys, definitely 20, 25 yards, 20 yards, definitely a lot closer. Um, you can actually see the, the amount of force behind that. It was actually bending the steel. Look at that. It bent the steel. So, you can actually uh, see on the back how much closer that bullet was to punching through there. I don't know if you'll be able to really see it or not, but see how much deeper that dimple is that it created right here than these ones down here. So actually at 25 yards, I, it was probably almost through. I love doing these videos for you guys. So if you want me to do more of them, definitely let me know down in the comments. I have a lot of different like calibers I can use too. So probably I have a caliber that you would like to see. So I guess now I'm just going to mag dump this thing. I got two mags to shoot off, so might as well. Let's do it. Mag dump, 22, long rifle. Finish that mag off. Throw a new mag in.
There we go. Empty. That's probably one of the funnest guns that there is to shoot is a 22. You just can't beat it. It's such low recoil. You can stay on target so easily. Oh man. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, like this video. Um, if I can get 50 likes on this video, guys, 50 likes, I'm going to take another pair of these sunglasses, put them out at 50 yards, and shoot them with the 22. And I'm also going to start with the pellet gun, then shoot them with the 22. Um, to see if they can actually deflect these calibers. I don't think they can, but they do say that they are impact resistant. And actually, on one of the pit vipers I was looking at, it had a bullet going into the lens, which gave me that idea. So, if you'd like to see that, make sure to leave a comment as well. Also, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. It's the only way that I can produce content for you guys that you will like. So, let me know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate every one of you. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Look at this freaking bullet, guys. It's like paper thin. That's after hitting the steel. <laughs> the carnage here <laughs> not a single one penetrated they bent that steel crazily though that's where the bullets were heading nuts blasted the water jugs